In this video, we're going to take a quick tour of the EDI Reconciler product for 277 files, uh, part of our EDI Power Tools suite. The Claim Reconciler goes to your original source documents. We're not going to query your billing system. We're going to go to the 837 Healthcare Claims Transaction files and we're going to compare them to your 277 Claim Status or 277 Claim Acknowledgement files that. Uh, receive in return and we're going to do this dashboard style reconciliation on a file by file basis as well as a claim by claim basis so you'll be able to drill in and see which claims are accepted which claims might might be rejected and why and, and also which claims might be missing altogether uh, from from the transmission so let's take a quick tour here is the EDI Claim Reconciler dashboard. Right now there is absolutely no data in it. We're going to import our files and you can bring in your 837 files, your 277 files. You can bring them in file by file or you can bring an entire folder in and you can have them combined in the same file. Uh, it doesn't matter however you want to manage your data. And we're going to list on this left side of the screen here all of the 837 claims. Each claim will be on its own line sorted in uh, by default in date order. You can sort it any way you wish. And on the right side of our dashboard, once we start applying the acknowledgements uh, to the 837 claims, you will see these, uh, these columns populate with how many claims have been accepted, rejected, how many claims have been closed, meaning they've been passed on to adjudication and or uh, you've worked a rejection, etc. So let me go over here. I'm going to import some files. Now I've just imported three 837 files and here are their names. Here are how many claims or records are in each file. This audit window will pop up whenever you do an import. You can print this out or you can acknowledge it. And we've begun to populate our dashboard. The left side has now got some um, records, three of them to be exact. The right side, we have done no importing of 277, so at the moment we have uh, nothing on the right side. So let's go ahead and import some 277s as well. Yeah, we imported 289 277 files. And now our dashboard has changed. The red indicates to the user that something has changed in one of these files since the last time they viewed the dashboard. And we have gotten responses against uh, the Monday file and the Tuesday file. Still have not gotten any responses from the uh, Wednesday file out of 671 claims. They're all still open, meaning they have not been dealt with. Uh, we have uh, a number of uh, responses on our Monday file. And of that, we have 457 that have been closed, meaning they've either been accepted, which means we don't need to do anything with them, or uh, if it's a rejection, they've been worked, meaning somebody's printed them out and passed them on internally to be dealt with. In this case, we have 31 rejections that have not been dealt with yet, and there's a total of 99, I'm sorry, 95 claims that are open, meaning either uh, they haven't been responded to or um, in the case of these rejections, we haven't worked them yet. So let's take a, a drive into that file there. We're going to drill into that particular 837. And much like the main dashboard, the detail dashboard has the left side displaying each and every claim in that file in the order that it's in the file. Now you can sort these uh, by clicking any of these column headings. The right side will tell us about the uh, responses that have been received. And if we scroll down here, we'll see there's some accepted, a bunch of accepted. We see some rejects, and we also see some unresponded to. These are completely open. The accepted claims have automatically been closed. There's nothing we need to do with them. They've been dealt with already by the payer. What we want to do is filter to our uh, rejected claims in this example. Let's take a look at the 31 of them that have been rejected. And our reject reason code here, if you click in there, it will open up this window that will tell you exactly what the file has in it in terms of why it's been rejected, what codes have been applied to the rejection. And you will see there can be more than one rejection reason. We will present them all, the code, along with uh, the HIPAA description that goes with it. 
Now, this is part of your workflow. What do you do when you quote unquote work a claim? So from our perspective, we, we've set it up so however your workflow goes, you can set the software up and do that with you. For example, let's suppose I'm going to work these one at a time by uh, calling them up uh, just like I did here and going into my billing system by hand and in this case uh, fixing the patient record or what have you to do a rebilling. Maybe I take five or six of these at a time or, or so and I print out a report and I hand, I print this to paper and hand it over to my team and they work these. So at this point I've worked quote unquote these first uh, handful of, of claims here by either printing them and also export them as well. Um, once I've done that I can go ahead and close them meaning they've been worked. So if you'll see those uh, four claims I checked or five claims have been closed. So I don't need to deal with them anymore. I'm going to move on to the next group. You can also print these out in batch or export them out in batch and by selecting an entire file I can export uh, the rejected claims at the file level and it's going to say please click and choose a file and let's suppose I'm going to choose this one and I have two options. Once I've exported them do I want to consider them worked so I can close them. I've passed them on to my team so click here. Um, if I've already exported um, I won't, it won't re-export unless I wanted to. So maybe I want to re-export again those same ones I've already done. And when I hit the export button I'm going to pump this out to an Excel file and I can pass that on to the team and they can work uh, the rejects uh, and I have quote unquote closed the file. And this is meant to be a daily and sometimes, or maybe even multiple times per day you're importing files and this is a working dashboard and you can be working these in any kind of order you wish. You can be sorting by any of these column headings uh, and work these uh, and it's multi-user capable so you might have uh, a team of people working. Once you've received all of the uh, responses you're going to get they will or worked all the rejections. Once everything has been dealt with or everything's been closed inside of a file, um, the file itself will be considered complete. You can also mark an, uh, a file complete manually and you can also close a file which is two different uh, ways to filter. Maybe the first line supervisor can complete a file but a manager has to close a file, etc. Uh, to fall off your dashboard. And using these filters up here what you're going to have is only your active working files even though uh, you've got uh, perhaps hundreds of files in the queue. Uh, if they're not live and being worked on you don't need to see them. And that is a very quick tour of the Claim Reconciler. Uh, if you'd like a more in-depth demo please give us a holler. In the meantime, thanks for watching.